Hello, everyone. <coughs> Welcome to uh, Jaguars React to one half of football because I am not putting myself through the absolute horrors that is this game. It's, to call it an embarrassment is an insult to embarrassments. I didn't expect the Jags to win this game. As a matter of fact, I expected them to lose big. And barring a miracle second half, which if you've watched any Jacksonville Jaguar football this year, it may take three or four games to hit 34 points at this point. This team is lifeless. It's, there's no urgency, there's no care, there's no anything. It's, a, it's an embarrassment. I, I said that last week, it's an embarrassment. But this week's a, just no whole nother level. It won't happen this week, but this game on national television... Where you're owing to and your de the desperation, the urgency, we have confidence in our guys, and you get embarrassed. Pathetic. 34 to 3 at the half. Because you dare. I don't even know. We went three and out on the first drive. Uh, again. It was funny, I wasn't going to, because it was Monday night football, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to do a react vid tonight, I'll wait till tomorrow, because it's going to be late, I'm going to go to bed. It's barely 9 o'clock, and <laughs> I'm absolutely done. This team is pathetic, is the word. Is, is, is a word, it's pathetic, it's, I, I, it's, I, I don't remember if I said it in last week's reaction video. I'll probably say it every week at this point. This is the most hated team. This is this is a Jaguars team that I've never hated more. And this game just just cemented that. The interception by Trevor was awful. Brian Thomas is wide open that play, and you just sky it to Demar Hamlin for no reason. Hey, I I I think it's a great story too. But could you not? In in, in 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 the effort to keep the game from completely slipping out of hand at that point it was already I think twenty to I think twenty to three is pretty much done, but you know, you you had some success. Don't just airmail it. I'll give you the first half stats, because these are special. First off, Josh Allen have an amazing game. By the way, the Bills have scored, have had five possessions in the first half. They've had five TDs. The only thing gone wrong is they had extra point blocked. They have five TDs on five drives. As a matter of fact, their opening touch, as a matter of fact, they're, I mean, let me look at this. Uh, okay, okay. They're, Opening touchdown drive of seven yards is currently where the Jaguar ja Jacksonville Jaguars stand in total yards, which is just special. Uh, the Jags defensively have collapsed, have crumbled. They they just don't care. I, you know, I get losing all your DBs is not a good thing, uh, but this team is just god awful. Um, they're not sustaining drives, which is really what you need in this situation, but they can't even do that. They have 19 yards rushing on seven attempts. But hey, when you can rush ETN four times for nine yards instead of Tanks Bigby, who's only running the game at seven yards, which yes, it's not much, but hey, you know, he he still looks better. That's the worst part. And he had a second run that was called back by penalty, but he hits the hole better. He's the better back right now. I'm sorry. I, I'm a, I liked ETN a couple years ago, but he's just not the same back, at least with the way, way they want to run the offense, which is just garbage. So, But what I was saying, this game... And it's not going to happen this week. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be stunned if it did. Whether it should or not is a different question, but it won't. This is the game that cost Doug Pearson his job. This is the game you don't come back from. Um, yes, in theory, this team could go on a run. It gets a slightly bit easier after this, but I mean, still got Houston next week, which at this point doesn't... 
Yeah, they didn't look great. Oh, hey, air conditioner. Sorry, that was my air conditioner. <sighs> I'm, I'm at a loss of words. Not because we're down 34 to three, not because we've given up five touchdowns on five drives, not because the offense looks unbelievably disjointed for the eighth consecutive week with Trevor Lawrence at quarterback. And has looked so poor. But what's embarrassing is how poorly everything has gone. How this team just doesn't care. Or just doesn't feel like they care. I've never seen... It's so rare to see a team with playoff aspirations coming into the season, in theory, go into week three and feel like they're already playing out the string. That's incredible to me. And not in a good way. Yes, we're missing Evan Ingram. Big part of the offense. I get that. But we didn't use him week one. Press Taylor is awful and needs to go. He should be the first one fired, but that ain't going to happen. Um, but yeah, no. This game is the... Is the reason? Yes, it's 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 the straw that broke the camel's back. It's not the reason. Not going like, oh, he was good until this game. I, I admit that's that's not entirely accurate. But it's the straw that broke the camel's back. I, I you don't come back from this. This team is going to lose 12, 13 games this year. They've gotten worse in three weeks. It's not getting better. And Doug Peterson said earlier this week apparent that you know there's no re this team's been together too long to make these errors, and they're still making these errors, and they're getting worse. The offensive line's healthy, and they're just bad. Trevor Lawrence is making stupid mistakes. They can't run the ball to save their life. The defense is just getting blown. They're blowing their asses off. I mean. I mean, the Bills aren't even running the ball overly effectively, other than Josh Allen. They have, they have 11. James Cook only has 20 carries or 20 yards and six carries. But their secondary is so bad, and I get it. That's some. That's obviously some, some, some rushing, or some, uh, some injury problems. And the Bills only have one sack. Um, but they had some pressure. But you know who you know who hasn't been pressured at all in this game? The Buffalo Bills haven't been pressured. Josh Allen has had all day and a bag of sticks. Josh Allen and Trayvon Walker are completely invisible. Josh Hines Allen, I am sorry, have been completely invisible in this game. You wouldn't even know they were there. Good job paying the guy $30 million to not show up. Even if there was a positive to take out of this game, and there's not, what positive is there? This is the second straight week we went three and out on the opening drive. Or two out of the three weeks we've gone three and out on the opening drive. The scripted drive where you should be able to make plays. That, like Bad teams don't do good on their first drive of the game. They just don't. And Jacksonville has been awful all year at that. And then on top of that, the one game you didn't go three and out, the only reason you probably didn't go three and out is because you were gifted a first down off an offside. You didn't actually gain one by your own offense. You were gifted one. And for the second straight week, then you go back to defense, the team has scored on every possession. That is eight straight possessions on offense that a team has scored. Actually, it might be nine. Let me go back to week one. God, I don't want to look at that game again. But let's go back to week one, shall we? Let's go back to the Jags getting beat in week one. And uh, let's see here. Before the half. Uh, oh, yeah. They scored a touchdown in the last drive. So that is nine straight first half drives that the Jacksonville Jaguars have given up points. And that is, I think, seven of the nine have been touchdowns. What are you doing? This team, this team can't play with a lead. How the hell are they going to come back from behind? 
I don't think they almost doubled the point total. At least the defense is like, you know, we only gave up 38 points in the first two games and we still lost. Fuck it. We're going to double that total on damn near double that total in one half of football. Good job, guys. You did. You're doing well for yourselves. Clap, 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 clap. I said earlier, this is probably the most, the, 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 probably the Jacksonville Jaguar team that I've hated more than any other in my in my fandom of the Jacksonville Jaguars, and it's because of this. It's it's because I, I've I've witnessed bad bad football for pretty much my entire adult life with the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's been just ass for twenty plus years, so I'm used to that. I, it, when we're good, it's super rare, but even then, I haven't hated the teams. They've disappointed me. But I didn't hate them. Maybe the 2018 team was pretty close. I'll admit, 2018, 2018 team was pretty close to that. But it's just... They collapsed so bad last year. And then you come into the season, new season, and nothing gets better? It all gets worse somehow? You don't have the excuse Trevor's hurt. He's supposed to be your guy. You paid him $55 million. And, you're, and you can't even call a competent offense. Let alone a, a, a high-end offense. You can't, even, you can't even call a bad offense. This is an atrocious offense. I don't know, folks. It's only going to get... I mean, this this is the Nader this, this week. I mean, it's hard to see it getting worse. It could stay the same for a while, but it's really hard to see how it could get much worse than this. And I don't know what you do from here. You're, you the, the risk of losing the rock, locker room at this point has to be extraordinarily high. And if you lose the locker room, then you're done. And unless he's already... And, and there's, a, there's a reasonable expectation that they've already lost the locker room at this point and I don't know what you do are you really going to try to save the season how are you going to do that I don't know folks it's not good, but I'm done talking about it. I'm done being angry. Um, I'm not barring a miraculous comeback that changes everything. You won't get a second video of a reaction for the full game because I just don't want to put myself through it. Um, the only thing I can promise is that my end goal is to get, you know, my end goal is to give you guys a reaction every week. Good, bad, and the Jaguars. That's that's all I can say. Um, I hate this team. I absolutely hate this team. Until next time, everybody. Deuces.